Hi, my name is Cameron and I'm based up in Edinburgh and I'm a member of various Scottish fungi groups. I belong to the Edinburgh group, um, the groups down in the borders of Scotland and the Clyde and Argyle group and I try and get out and meet these groups as often as I can. Um, with the virus that we've had recently that's made traveling a little bit difficult but forays are starting back up so it's really great to be getting back out and visiting these groups. Fungi that I particularly like, well I try and understand and learn about as many different types of fungi as I possibly can but the ones that particularly interest me are the Paranomyces, the small black fungi that you get on sticks and twigs. Um, Xylaria um, is one of the larger ones that I can think of and then you've got these little tiny Rosalinias, um, melanomas that you can get on wood. So I'm particularly keen on the little black fungi that appear on sticks. I'm also rather keen in these the fungi that eat insects and when you go on your forays if you look at the top of grass stalks you can see these little dead insects clinging onto the top of grass seed heads and when you pick them off and put them under the microscope you can see that they've got fungi coming out of the abdomen. So I'm quite keen on those and I'm rather partial to the what we call the gasteroid or the old name of gastromyces. So I'm quite keen on puffballs and earth stars and stink horns and I try out and find as many of those and I identify those as best as I can. So those are some of the fungi I'm particularly interested in. I've been studying fungi on and off for quite a few years now. I'm probably more focused on it now than ever um, and at this moment in time I'm on the Scottish joint foray. This is where members of the uh, various groups from across Scotland Come together for a week-long foray and if you're thinking that behind me is my house no it's definitely not this is the accommodation where the Scottish joint foray is um, actually taking place we've been out for the day collecting fungi on one of the sites and uh, we're all spending some time looking at them under the microscope so yeah this is our accommodation for the Scottish joint foray I thought I'd introduce you to some of the fungi that we found, uh, particularly from today, that were quite interesting. I've got here Swillus cavapes, which is particularly uncommon, although this year it seems to be doing rather well. Uh, Tricholoma equestri. Now the gills on this, the, the yellow gills underneath, are absolutely fantastic. This vivid lemon yellow. We've found quite a few of the toothed fungi. So this is um, Hydnellum tomentosum. Uh, we went to Colbin Forest yesterday and managed to see quite a few, particularly uh, Hydnellum pecchii with the little red drops. And another fungus we found today uh, is uh, Cortinarius rubellus. Really, really poisonous. So not one that we would uh, encourage people to pick um, if they're not familiar with fungi. So, Favourite books? What books would I would I not do without when it comes to fungi? Well, one of my favourite books, because I do like black things on sticks, is uh, Microfungi on Land Plants. So this is by Ellis and Ellis. Uh, this is one that I'm, I, I find particularly useful. But one of the more recent publications that I think is absolutely fantastic is Fungi of Temperate Europe. It comes in two volumes. I've got the two volumes just here. Is the is the second one. And I think these are absolutely superb. I really enjoy um, using these books and they key out fungi really well with the graphics and the information. So I, I do like those two books. So if ever you're up in Scotland and you fancy coming out to join one of the Scottish groups, I strongly recommend it. We've got some wonderful characters up here in Scotland um, and our forays are, are absolutely wonderful. And being so far north with such a large area of coniferous forests we do have some really interesting and rare fungi that can be found quite readily anyway it's been nice talking to you um, take care and hope to see you soon bye bye